Welcome back to Dirt 5 Energy DLC. Today we're at the end of it and we're looking at the main events to finish off the DLC. We're going to begin with the Ultra Cross main event. Lin Johaza heals China. I'm hoping I said that correctly. Uh, Soldier Boy is starting us off and he is driving the Aston Martin DBX of the pre runner class. Now, main events generally you have to finish in the top three, but the DLC is slightly different. They are one on one races, so we just need to beat the opposition, which in this case, in all three of these, will be Bulldozer. Hopefully, he doesn't live up to his name and Bulldozer's off the track. But as I say, Soldier Boy's up first in the Aston Martin and off to a fantastic start, already taking the lead. Um, and, well, I don't think he's going to catch us. I just don't think his car's quick enough, not as quick as the Aston Martin is. I'm not too sure what car he's driving. We'll be able to see at the end of the race, but he's nowhere near us. He's not catching. He is nowhere near us at all. This gives me a chance to talk about the next episode. So we are finishing off the Energy DLC today with this main event. We can finish the other two off and beat Bulldozer in all three. We move on to up four, which is the next DLC. Plan is to work for all four DLCs, see how many miles we've done, and see if we need to do any extra races just to finish off the Platinum Trophy, as we need to drive a thousand miles. We did talk about it a little bit in the previous episode. A thousand miles is what we need uh, to achieve if we want the Platinum Trophy. I think we're up to about 700 or something now. We will be after this episode anyway. Very, very deep into coins, giving Bulldozer a chance to come back at us. I'm still looking at what mistakes we're making at the same time. Um, but that, the aim is to get the Platinum Trophy come the end of all the DLCs. Hopefully, we're not too short. We may have a look at the multiplayer racing just in case we need some more miles. That's something I've, I've thought about. It's something we can have a look at. I would just don't think it's going to be very, very clean. Back to the race. It is three laps. We're still on the first lap, and we are ahead of Bulldozer. He's came close to us once, and that's when we made a big mistake as we went too deep into the corner. But we are one second ahead as we cross the line and start lap two. They're not massively long laps. The track is pretty good, and this Aston Martin is probably one of the better pre-runner cars we've used throughout this whole series so far. I will say, if you have been enjoying this series or any content on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. A like on the episode does help. Ring the bell to not miss an upload. There is also a scheduled video 1pm GMT every Sunday you know what's coming up the following week now around the corner not too bad a little bit deeper game but our lead is growing we're up to 2.2 seconds as i say unless we mess this up for ourselves i don't think bulldozer is getting back into this we could have skipped through this to be fair just to see what happens towards the end but the video would be barely any length at all and i'm going to actually make it have some length to it but we're doing okay uh the car itself as I said before, handling pretty well, as I, as I kind of expected to. Right-hander here, gripping nicely as we go. The snow has started, so this could change up the actual grip on the track. This could make our life a little bit more difficult, depending if he has superior grip to us. Little time check, we are now 2.9 seconds ahead. Our lead is growing and only going up. So it is down to us now. We have destiny in our own hands for this first main event race. As long as we don't make any silly mistakes we'll be okay there's one nearly going onto two wheels for a moment there as we nearly come a cropper on the edge of the track that one has gone down well end of the second lap though we are in the lead let's have a look at the gap again he's got it down 1.8 seconds so we made a big error there and allowed him to catch back up by about a second so no more mistakes we've got to finish this off properly in this third and final lap as i say i think the aston mine is probably one of the better pre-runner cars for us it's done us really well in previous races, so I'm pretty happy with it. I wasn't expecting the snow. If, it, if I'd thought about the snow, I may have picked a different car. Because we can find sometimes this car bogs down in the snow. Which is probably why you may have noticed our grip's a little bit worse now the snow has hit. But as long as we keep it in a straight line, we're doing okay. I'm pretty sure that gap is growing behind us because he's now not even showing on the minimap around some of the corners. So that tells us we are miles ahead. So it is down to us to make sure we finish this off as best as possible, no mistakes, see this through to the end, and we are going to have our first win of the episode, hopefully. Uh, we should get a time check pretty soon, and we'll see if that the time between us has grown. It was 1.9 seconds at the start of this third and final lap. I'm curious if it has gone up. I'm pretty sure it has. It's just not even on the minimap anymore. Here we go, time check. Oh, that's gone up a lot. I did, didn't even finish going up. It was about 4.9 when it kind of went off screen. 
that gap has grown horrendously. So unless he's had a massive error, we've, or we've just been perfect. One of the two. I'm not sure which one. Probably go with the error for him. But we're going to cross the line in this first main event. And we have won first place against Bulldozer. A flawless ride. Ride? Flawless drive, I would say. Um, his time hasn't even come up yet. How far back was he? He was quite a way back. I didn't even see it before it clicked off. But a fantastic win. That's three stamps to start off the episode. Two more races against Bulldozer and we are done. Confirmation of the result, the stamps and everything else that comes with that. The money's the thing we need if we want to buy more cars for the other DLCs. We need some more money coming in. We're still trying to increase our reputation of our new sponsor as well. There we go, money going up. We never get a massive amount, 18,000, better than nothing. We got a new livery and some stickers and that is it. So Wolverine's up next. He is taking part in the Sprint main event at East River Sprint Reverse New York. And he is driving the Audi AI Trail Quattro of the pre-runner class. Now, this is a car we've used mainly in China because you can take corners in this car in really muddy conditions and you don't have to brake. He has decided to use it for a sprint race. Now, I have my concerns. This car is very good on grip but I'm not sure how it's going to be on ice. It's also electric, bulldozer could be quicker. But let's see how Wolverine gets on, shall we? Off the line pretty well there, and actually in a straight drag race, the Audi was miles better than Bulldozer. Bulldozer got a better launch, but very quickly the Audi took over. So Wolverine is through the first corner, he's battling with Bulldozer now, but he's passed him again. So he's struggling a little bit in the corners, but I think that's him not expecting to break more being the issue there's bulldozer diving straight in getting the elbows out trying to force wolverine off the track as we're going to finish the first of seven laps in this sprint race fairly simple race fairly quick bulldozers now ahead again wolverine into the corner going very deep that's a mistake bulldozers now going to have a lead on him and the problem with sprint races is you don't have long to get the race back to yourself bulldozers lead is now going to become a difficult thing to overcome if he's not careful. Up the inside though, he's caught him back up already. I'm saying a lead is very difficult to chase down in a sprint event, but actually, Wolverine's proven me wrong as he takes first place at the start of lap three. It's going to be a very short split. There's no way they're going to get any distance on each other by looks of things. Wolverine is driving pretty well. He's kind of realized this car has fantastic grip, but at the same time, he still needs to be careful in the corners. I think he's going too deep personally. I would have taken, I'd probably taken a bit closer line to the inside, which he's done on this one, but he's going to just miss the barrier, I thought he was going to hit it there. He's got a little bit of a gap now to Bulldozer. That gap is up to just short of two seconds, I think that's a 1.6. That's a decent gap, I didn't think he'd even gain any kind of gap on him on this. But it just shows he's cornering really well, a slight mistake there, as he gets very poor exit speed. But he's definitely growing into the race as the race is going on. Bulldozer needs to play catch up which Wolverine did very quickly, but Bulldozer doesn't seem to be. So Wolverine could have this in the bag. End of the fourth, start of the fifth, a very quick laps. Um, sub 30 second laps, to be fair. He's over two seconds in his lead now. He just needs to get a couple more corners right, and this is another one in the bag. But he's messed up. He's turned fully 360 degrees and hit the barrier. I wasn't expecting that. Wolverine had this in the bag, and now Bulldozer has a fantastic lead on him. With only two laps to go, Wolverine has got to pull out all the stops now to come back. I was thinking if he had this in the bag, I didn't think he was going to make a mistake. I just thought this was easy, but it's not anymore. What is the gap to Bulldozer that he needs to make up? Four seconds. This is going to be tricky. If Wolverine can pull this back, this will be one hell of a drive by the end of it. Deep into the corner again. That's going to slow him down on exit. He's trying to get the speed up. He's not got many laps to either do this in as well, so this is going to be tricky. He's got the right-hander now. Decent right-hander. Did really well for that corner. The final corner before the start of the last lap. This gap is going to be important. How many seconds is he behind? He is 2.3 seconds. He's got to do two amazing corners now. He's definitely catching, but is he enough? I'm not sure he's got the time to get this back. We're on the final lap. If he does this, I, you know, amazing. Right, up the inside. Can we get this on Bulldozer? Definitely a better corner than Bulldozer. It's going to be a race for the line now. Bulldozer versus Wolverine. And Wolverine has got it. Wolverine takes the win. Wow. That could have been easier. 
admittedly. He could have made that race a lot easier for himself, but Wolverine is a static. He has pulled it out when I didn't think he was going to. That barrier crash, I thought it was over. But instead, he pulls out the victory. What a comeback. And to be fair, what a car. He's really made that car work on the ice. I'm pretty impressed. I didn't think he was going to work on the ice. Three stamps and another win in the main events against Bulldozer. That's 2-0 to us with one event to go in the Energy DLC main events. So to finish off the Energy main events, we have the Rally Raid. This is at Lion's Head, South, Af South Africa. Soldier Boy is back in the car and he's going to be driving a new car for us. Bit of a risk this. It is the Mitsubishi E Evolution of the pre runner class, a brand new car to try out in the South African course. Now, I kind of assumed South African mud, and I thought this car may do it. Wolverine picked the paint scheme, as you can tell, as one of the liveries we've unlocked. Off the line we go, this is another electric car, pretty much like the Audi. I'm hoping good grip. That's kind of my banker on this one. And it's got superb acceleration. It worked really well off the line there. But can we bring this home? Okay, he's still on our tail. Bulldozer is not letting us get away, but we are doing well so far. This is a percentage race as it's a um, rally raid. Bulldozer does come past us on the straight here, so he does have, does have a lot better uh, full-on power, but we've got to make it up in the corners, and that was a lovely corner there for the evolution. Left-hander taking it nicely, a bit of water on the tyres, cooling them down a little bit with the puddle. And working out really well. We're going to right hand for this choice section. Bulldozer has followed us through. Um, but it does seem like he's got better straight line speeds. That's something we've got to be aware of. We're going to hope we've got superior braking. I think we've got better acceleration. But it's the braking cornering we've got to really make work for us here. Bit of smoke from the tyres as we take that corner. Right hander now. Very tight one. Can we keep this in? Bulldozer coming through on us there. But we're still getting away from him. We definitely have better acceleration. Um, it's just keeping away his top speed. The next bit of section looks to be very turny. Turny's not a brilliant word, but I'll take it. Um, so hopefully we can make the most of these turns and get some kind of lead on in, in case there's a straight coming up. Not too bad for the left-hander. Over the hill we go. Right-hander coming up. Breaking too early, really, there. Going really slow in the corner. Bulldozers all over our rear bumper as he's trying to get past us. We're trying to take up as much of the track as possible to stop him coming through. We're so wary of his speed. That's the problem. Up the hill, we're still going now. Got a right-hander coming up. Taking this nicely. Nice and tight. Decent speed. 40 mile an hour plus through the corner. Left-hander coming up as well now. Back onto the mud. And okay, We're okay. We're in the lead, but it is close. Then we're going to have a choice section coming up here. Left-hander, we did really well. We're going to go straight. There's no point trying to change direction so dramatically on, a str on that corner. So we're going to keep on. Bulldozer is on a tail. He can't went the, No, he didn't go the same way. He went the other way, which was a lot slower. We now have a gap. I didn't know why. Why take that direction? The choice of the change of direction for the choice section back then was a severe left-hander. We went straight, and it may have been the slower one, but the, surely the severe left-hander would have caused you to slow down anyway. But forget about that. Bulldozer's fodder through on this choice section, and we're still in the lead. That's the important part. 85% done. I'm happy you took the wrong way because that's made our lead a lot easier to manage as I was worried about his speed. But I think we may have this. Two seconds is the gap. We're in the lead. We're coming towards the end. 94%, 95% done. It's this section I was worried about. It's straight. But I think we've done it because he was too far back. We have. And that is another win. It is 3-0 to Soldier Boy and Wolverine versus Bulldozer in the Energy DLC main events. I will say the Mitsubishi Evolution car, incredible. I'm looking forward to using that again because that car was incredible. The grip was fantastic. Acceleration was good. Top speed, not so much. But everything else, yeah, can't fault it at all. But that is our third victory of the three main events. We have now finished the Energy DLC. It is done. And as I say, if you've enjoyed this series or any content on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. A like on the episodes helps as well. And in the next episode, we will be starting the Uproar DLC for Dirt 5. So join us for that very, very soon. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you soon with more Dirt 5.